Wow, we got another year successfully coming to an end. And I just wanna say, you know, congrats to everyone that made it. <clears throat> Whether you wanted to or not. You thugged that shit out, and if no one said it to you yet, I'm proud of you. So just like last year, I thought I would do a timeline on everything that happened this year that we actually care about. Because 99% of these timelines are trash or boring to me. We're gonna be covering the juicy politics, pop culture, memes, social media, entertainment, you get the point. And this year, I've got a bunch of friends helping me out. Shout out to all of them who help with this. So without further ado, let's go over the 2023 timeline. January 2023. We started off the year with an absolute explosion of AI. ChatGPT was the talk of the town. You could do anything on this bitch. Want the answer to a simple question? ChatGPT. Need to get your taxes done, but don't feel like doing it yourself? ChatGPT. Need to get an essay done for school, but don't feel like doing it? ChatGPT. Not like I've ever done that. <sighs> Imagine. And even though ChatGBT was released in November 30th of 2022, it started to really trend around this time and new AIs just kept coming and coming. Now you got Pixar AI generated characters turned hood, songs recreated with popular artists voices that you can't even tell are AI, and my favorite drop of all time of AIs this year, the Quibble Cop AI. Whoa, check out that glowing orange flow. It's like molten sunshine pouring. Absolutely stunning, I love it. How do they even make it? Amazing stuff. Ronaldo becomes the highest paid athlete of all time by signing with Al Nasir, making $200 million a year. NASA announces that China could claim the moon, which sounds stupid, but it kind of makes sense. Because so many countries are trying to go to space nowadays, there's been talks this year on who's gonna own the moon. But everybody knows my vector owns the moon. And it also shows how sad humanity is because we can't even have peace on the moon prince harry releases his memoir book which talked about different things like why he left the royal family how he killed taliban soldiers and other weird things like how he lost his virginity to an ass spanking older woman i mounted her quickly after she spanked my ass and held me back this is a real quote by the way from the book or how he took mushrooms for the first time at another celebrity's house it was to the point where anytime you saw a headline of prince harry and Meghan markle you gave it a oh brother south park even made an episode making fun of them el chapo's son is arrested on charges of distributing drugs and simultaneously the next day the officers who arrested him were found dead from undisclosed reasons reasons. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But can you imagine? Megan Hall, aka the officer who got caught sleeping with the whole police department, broke the news. Like, she was getting clowned all over the internet this month. I low-key felt bad for her. Panic at the Disco decided to officially break up. Y'all gotta admit, okay? Panic at the Disco dropped some hood classics. Oh, well imagine. Justin Bieber fully sold the rights to all of his music for $200 million. A bill to ban TikTok in the United States is officially introduced in the Senate, which goes nowhere because TikTok is literally unstoppable. Mr. Beast cures a thousand people's blindness, probably doing the nicest act out of any YouTuber, and also simultaneously gets canceled for it. People were calling him demonic and all that, which was the start of the unneeded Mr. Beast hate train. Like anytime Mr. Beast did anything after this, a small loser population on Twitter was there to complain. But don't worry because they literally don't f exist off the internet. And we end off this month with some kinda hostile news. A Chinese spy balloon entered the US airfields. And at first China was like, us spying on y'all? Why would we ever want to do that? So I guess we thought things were cool, but just wait about another minute and you'll know the fate of it. The memes of this month were things like Megan Hall, Puss in Boots, and Hello Kitty Girls. February 2023. Starting off the month, all-star NFL athlete Tom Brady officially retires for the 67th time. Bro fumbled his marriage for this because he thought football was life. Just to retire immediately after? Well, at least he got his son, so he's not going to be that lonely. British Columbia, Canada becomes the first place ever to decriminalize cocaine, heroin, and meth. The reason behind that? I don't know, but I know where I'm going this summer. The U.S. government shoots down the Chinese spy balloon in an act of American freedom. Maybe they went a little overboard. I mean, they used a F-22 fighter jet and four or $500,000 missiles that cost us a total of $2 million. But what else are we going to do with that tax money? Feed the homeless? We're Americans. I say we tax them too. We only spend our money on ourselves and not our people. What the is a diet! PewDiePie announces he's pregnant with his wife, Marcia. I didn't know men can do that. And sadly, this month, Turkey and Syria experienced a 7.8 magnitude earthquake. 
leaving the countries destroyed and over 45,000 people confirmed dead. Rest in peace to all the people who are lost in this tragedy. And it was nice seeing people come together to help the country. And it was also cool seeing YouTubers and streamers come together to raise funds for it. LeBron James passes the NBA career scoring record of 38,388 points that was previously held by another all-time great, Kareem Hussein Obama, making LeBron become the all-time scorer in NBA history. Rihanna performs in the Super Bowl for her first live performance in six years, and the Chiefs win the Super Bowl. Japan randomly discovers 7,000 new unknown islands. I don't even know how they didn't notice this or how nobody noticed this. Don't we have satellites now? Can't we just take pictures of, like, you know, the Earth? How we didn't see 7,000 islands on there? Did Earth just have a new update out of nowhere? Tommy Fury beats my Pookie Bear Jake Paul in a boxing match proving Jake Paul's only skill is knocking out boxers who have never boxed or just straight up basketball players. We also started to see the rise of kick for all the wrong reasons. The platform launched in December and at first it was looking good. They implemented a 95-5 split for creators that was done nowhere else. They also promised not to ban for bullshit reasons like what they do on Twitch. You can't say simp but you can show you coochie. But nowadays it's known as the wild west of streaming. Like this specific month you had Aiden Ross showing his young ass audience Streamers going in public harassing people. Then later on, you had the Foozies, Neons, and Jack Doltries. Who the hell are these people, Tommy? At the end of the day, it was a very controversial start. Harvey Weinstein, aka Bill Cosby uncle, was sentenced to 16 years in prison for grape in LA. He should have been sentenced to more, but hopefully he's making computer calls inside there. Meanwhile, Kai Sinat was breaking records and broke the record for the most subscribed Twitch channel ever and also became the first ever person to reach 300,000 subs. Kai's dominance this year can't be said enough. He was basically running TikTok. Had elementary school kids getting sturdy for their crush in the name of... <laughs> having w riz every celebrity was reaching out to this man including drake and Nicki minaj you can say i'm glazing him or whatever but i don't care for the year 2023 kai sinat was top five black men ever right above martin luther king he hasn't had a dream in a while and the memes of this month were things like axel in harlem ai presidents chinese spy balloon and my personal favorite Kevin Hart reaction. And that is the conclusion of the month of February. Thanks for having me. Make sure to eat your vegetables, but burn your Brussels sprouts, kids. March 2023. What other way to get into this month than starting off with some thuggish news? John Moran, a famous NBA player who signed a five year, $197 million contract, decided to flash a handgun on Instagram Live. Which made no sense because not only did he not come from a hood background, not only does he have a daughter, not only is he worth 200 million plus dollars, but not a single person cared if he was from the hood. He was then suspended for 25 games and came back in December 2023. Xi Jinping is made president of China for a third time in a row and had a record 2,952 votes for him and zero votes against him. I'm sure the election process was fair. And probably the highlight of the whole month, I would say, Moist Critical versus Sneeko. There's two people you don't ever f with on the internet and they're Mr. Beast and Moist Critical. Sneeko was beefing with Critical and always calling him a sore boy boy and you know that whole red pill thing in space but the beef really lit up when sneeko decided to threaten charlie on stream and just like that moist critical decided to drop this bombshell banger sneeko's career then died that day he was pretty much the punching bag from this point on in the year. Nike officially stopped using kangaroo skin in their shoes. This isn't really big news, but why the f was there kangaroo skin in Nike shoes in the first place? The TikTok Congress hearing is held. I think after this hearing, the United States government should never do this for the sake of looking like they know what they're doing. Because immediately after, everyone agreed this was an absolute clown show. It was just a bunch of senile old people not knowing how basic modern technology works. Can you say with 100% certainty that TikTok does not use the phone's camera to determine whether the content that elicits a pupil dilation should be amplified by the algorithm? Really, nigga? John Wick Chapter 4 releases, becoming the highest grossing opening weekend than any other movie in the series. Pokemon the anime officially comes to an end after 25 years, marking an end to the legendary story of Ash and Pikachu's journey. Elon Musk announces Twitter is worth less than half of what he bought it for. Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate are released from jail. And to end it off, Donald Trump gets indicted by a grand jury on charges over hush payments, which makes him the first 
ever president to get criminally charged. Memes of this month were things like AI Drip, Sneeko's Cuck Story, The Whale, and Mike O'Hearn. Yo, what's good? One Cloud Nine. I'm gonna talk about April. First, we're gonna start off with some international sh Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa announced that they're working on a new type of currency called BRICS. Yes, you heard me right. BRICS. Now, why they're doing this? I don't know. But they're hoping that one day this type of currency will become the global currency. And everyone, including the US, will use this. Also in April, the Super Mario Bros. movie released, which in my opinion was a top tier movie. Apparently, I wasn't the only one who thought this shit, because the movie broke the record of being the highest grossing film based on a video game after one week. Shit, insane. But I ain't gonna lie to you, I know the movie's about plumbing, but I sure want to put my pipe in Princess Peach. But the real highlight of this movie has to be when that toad was on that bike. Like, you cannot tell me that shit was not bricked up there. I would be too. Princess Peach can have my pipe anytime. We also started to see the Bill Clinton kid appear, which I still don't know how the f that kid blew up. Like, it feels like every single year there's always that one internet personality that just blows up for no reason. And then, like, two months after their blow up, they just fall off the face of the f earth. That's exactly what this kid was. I mean, he appeared on podcasts, did interviews and sh he was even finding streamers while they were live streaming. And it felt like at any time, the Bill Clinton kid can just pop up magically in one of your favorite YouTubers' videos. Like, I don't know where this kid came from, but he had to sell his soul, bro. Either that or he has teleportation powers, bro. Like, I don't know. Also, with some very, very good news, XXX Tentation Killers were sentenced to life in prison. Finally, after six years, bro. Everybody clapping up in the chat. Everybody clapping up. Big K on the head. Have fun getting piped in prison, buddy. And also, RIP to the go, XXX Tentation. Moving on though in very random news but the la lama or i think that's what it's called i don't know proceeds to ask a kid to suck his tongue which is not only creepy because it's an 88 year old man asking a young boy to suck his tongue but also the Dalai lama is literally supposed to be an advocate for peace and freedom in the buddhist community he's literally a buddhist advocate asking a young boy that probably doesn't even know who riley reed is to suck his tongue like what the are we talking about like i don't know who this old man is but lock him up with r kelly and throw away the key bro like what the hell also the fbi arrested the national guard member for leaking classified pentagon documents but some of y'all may know this leak by his more appropriate name the thug shake central leak a 21 year old kid leaked hundreds of high classified pentagon documents in a minecraft discord server of all things called thug shake central I ain't gonna lie, this is 100% the reason why other countries just don't take us seriously, bro. Especially our government, bro. Also, Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast's crew came out as trans. We all know this shit. Let's not act like we know. But I'm gonna be real with y'all. Don't gotta like that shit, man. At least be respectful, bro. But y'all know how the internet gets. Yeah, man, did the floodgates open. TikTok was going crazy at the time. They were making compilations and shit. People were even saying that Carl turned him trans with the Carl effect or whatever. And I mean, Carl is bad zesty, but you gotta have some different type of zest to turn another man f trans bro like what are we talking about javante davis beat ryan garcia in the seventh round of their boxing match this was like highly anticipated everybody was talking about this this month and i ain't gonna lie i thought ryan garcia was going away bro i ain't gonna hold you the little instagram boxing compilations fooled me bro i ain't gonna hold you that Okay, hey, I ain't gonna hold you, but like, I mean, take is take, bro. Let's just be real. Also, Tucker Carlson, who hosts Fox News, was fired. Smoking on that good Tucker pack. I don't give a fuck what y'all say, bro. Also, this month, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris announced that they're running for re election in 2024. And most likely, they will be running against Donald Trump, which is a big dub for them, but a big L for America. Also, in better news, James Corden finally ends his talk show, The Late Late Show, which is honestly the biggest dub of the year for me. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, that show should have been packed up. I ain't gonna lie to you. But sadly, this month, Jerry Springer did pass. Away. A man who was a legend in Hollywood, who also brought one of the craziest shows that we never thought could exist in television, and truly just a legend and a great person in general. Rest in peace, Jerry Springer, and prayers and condolences to all of his family. The memes of this month were things like Thug Shake and One Two Buckle My Shoe. Appreciate you, Tommy, for having me on here. May 2023. So you remember how I said earlier that AI was running this year? Apparently, the Godfather of AI thought the same thing too. The Godfather of AI resigned from his job at Google to warn people about the dangers of AI, saying we may not be able to know what is true anymore, which is kind of 
haven't been true already. If people are getting tricked by AI songs now and thinking AI images are real, imagine in the future. There are legit people out there who have AI girlfriends. The doomsday is already starting. Hollywood actors officially start their strike over bad pay and contracts. Which is why 2023 was kinda ass for TV shows and movies. We had a couple things, but that's really why it was bad this year. Who, aka the World Health Organization, officially declares COVID-19 is no longer a global emergency. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 releases, which made people have hope in Marvel again because most people thought it was pretty good. King Charles gets crowned as king. Elon Musk announces a new CEO for Twitter, but it's kind of weird because he still does all of the changes. I really have zero clue what the new CEO has done. So just know for the future of Twitter, Elon will still be by his hand shit up. Montana becomes the first US state to ban TikTok on all devices. I'm sure the five people in Montana are highly upset by these decisions. Sadly, Tina Turner, aka the queen of rock and roll, passed away. Rest in peace to Tina Turner. And the memes of this month were things like Skibbity Toilet, Gorlock the Destroyer, I am a surgeon, and I have no enemies. June. The sun was shining, the birds were chirping, and the flowers were blooming. And Skibbity Toilet toilet was f created oh my god this month was the birth of some of the most trash brain rot to ever exist like how did some of this even spawn in on the earth and look at this dude's channel bro this is not a joke this is not a drill he knows what he's doing he could probably retire and never work a day in his life after that the f boom is cooking bro his first video has 33 mil he is stacking up that youtube ad revenue like crazy spider-man across the spider-verse was released and it broke the record for the highest grossing animation movie ever and the memes were absolutely peak bro the apple vision pro was announced but yeah apple can respectfully go themselves three thousand five hundred dollars is crazy you can save yourself some time and just get a meta quest you can officially pay for things with your hands in china the unabomber was found dead due to suicide in prison speed met ronaldo this has got to be a figment of my imagination there's no way and like you gotta admit it there was so much hype building up for this moment to happen anybody that would diss ronaldo speed is not letting that slide he's arguing with them the ocean gate submarine went missing and that for sure has got to be one of the most hectic weeks of social media people were more interested in this story than their own families bro like i already know people were scrolling on their phone at the dinner table waiting for the latest submarine update and it didn't help that the owner did the dumbest like he used a controller to operate a submarine like come on bro and the materials were horrible too that was like some fortnite metal the memes just kept rolling in and people did not hold back but i'm gonna be a respectful human being and give my condolences to those who unfortunately passed away and in june we also had that one zendaya movie that dropped that appeared she was in the midst of being in a brazzer scene that is wild and my boy tom holland he's going through it he on his juice world arc right now he is not recovered smosh came back and they announced that they had the rights to their channel now lab grown meats were officially approved in the united states so prepare to see the death toll jump up in the next couple of years chadwick boseman got his own hollywood star an among us tv series was announced to the public that peaked like three years ago a battle that was gonna be one of the greatest in history it was gonna live up to the gods elon musk versus mark zuckerberg elon musk was training probably on the daily to get ready for this fight and mark zuckerberg was out here doing some jujitsu or some shit and that was gonna happen until everyone realized that mark zuckerberg looks like this and elon musk looks like this yeah, it would have been Elon's ass. He definitely would have got packed up. Adam22 really let his wife get his back blown out by Jason Love, bro. And no one is ever forgetting this. If he didn't make tweets just straight coping about what happened and asking other dudes who got next like they on a 2K court or something, this situation would have been less known. But honestly, I think he did that on purpose. And of course, the greatest YouTube apology ever dropped. Hi. What a video. What a banger. That John is definitely going down in history. Future generations need to let this live on forever and to end it off the u.s removed affirmative action as a law and some of the memes this month included the grimace shake people even made that into a tiktok challenge where they would drink the shake and pretend to die that one was kind of weird ocean gate and of course the spider verse memes we can't forget but yeah thank you tommy for having me on i've been birdie and i'm out july 2023 we start off the month with high tech advancements as the first flying car is officially approved it looks like this and i don't know if you can 
really call this a flying car. It's more like one of those Dragon Ball pods. But this might be the future of flying cars. So, hey, I mean, we're in the start of something. The Las Vegas Spear is lit up for the first time. And it's basically made no money. So, uh, I don't even understand why they made it. One of the most revolutionary jaw-dropping apps of all time was released this year. Threads. People were really hyping this up and saying this is about to be the thing that kills Twitter. And we did give it like a solid week, but maybe another time, Mark. Because this fell off almost immediately. The Flash released, becoming the biggest superhero box office fail with $200 million loss. And you know after this, ain't nobody in Hollywood gonna be ever working with Ezra Miller. Bank of America gets fined $250 million over fake accounts. PewDiePie and Marzia officially have their baby Bjorn. A certain trend started to blow up this month. NPC streams. Everyone was doing NPC streams and actually making bread from it. You had the originator, Pinky Doll, Streamers started to give in and do it. My favorite of all time. We are locked in. Thank you for over 160 glizzies and doing glizzy overdrive. <sighs> YNW Melly's murder charge case gets labeled as a mistrial, meaning that a new trial has to happen after. Elon Musk swoops in to drop another dookie on Twitter by officially changing Twitter to X. To this day, I don't know anybody who calls it by X. Doja Cat starts to go on a rampage against her own fans. Like, I legit think that Doja Cat does not like the fans that she has. She was calling them stupid, saying they need to get a job. And she also did transform into this thing this year. But man, give me a night with Prime Doja in 2020 and I can go to heaven. Barbie the movie release becoming an immediate classic and it broke so many records I can't even go over all of them. And of course we can't forget Oppenheimer released at the same day. Also becoming an immediate classic and ending the feud between the two. This banger of a video dropped on YouTube. For reference, this is how hairy my butt is right now. Congress held a UFO hearing where three retired military veterans admitted the government has UFOs. I don't know how the government expected us to act like we don't know the shit already. Like if it ain't helping the economy and bringing the McChicken back to $1, we don't care. Another very important political event happened that same day. And to end things off on a sad note, the Euphoria star Angus Cloud was found dead from a drug overdose. Condolences and rest in peace to Angus Cloud. The memes of this month were things like Barbenheimer, Skibbity Toilet Again, NPC Streaming, and Adam22 being a cup. August 2023. We start off this month with some big news. Big news. Enormous even. Lizzo gets sued by three of her former dancers for sexual harassment. And if that doesn't sound bad enough, the actual case is worse. Allegedly, she was making the dance eat bananas out of strippers coochies. This is all a legend, but if it's true, this might be the weirdest case of sexual harassment to ever exist. Mr. Beast sues his own company, Mr. Beast Burger, because of what we all know from the start. That was trash. I had it twice and you could tell Jimmy didn't make them himself. It made me very upset. A potential cancer breakthrough pill is found, promising a new oral cancer treatment that destroys cancer cells. Sadly, Mark Magalis, aka the man who played Hector in Breaking Bad, passed away. Rest in peace, Mark Magalis. Magalis. Tyson Hat holds a wholesome giveaway that doesn't go wrong in any type of way. And he manages to give hundreds of PS5s and computers back to kids on the streets. It's how the story would have went if it wasn't held in New York. This couldn't have went worse than it did. You had kids getting sturdy on cars, girls twerking on street lamps. The news was covering it, acting like a zombie apocalypse just broke out. He was then charged with two counts of inciting a riot and unlawful assembly, which is kind of weird to me because doesn't inciting a riot mean you're actually telling people to do it? The showdown of the century Montgomery brawl took place. Special shout out to the chair. Jake Paul beats Nate Diaz in a boxing match. Tory Lanez officially gets sentenced to 10 years in prison over his case with Megan the Stallion. Someone wins the biggest jackpot in Mega Millions history winning 1.5 8 billion dollars and let's clap it up for the actual real winners the IRS. a devastating wildfire hits maui hawaii which leaves absolute destruction behind it destroying homes and leaving families homeless after but don't worry because joe biden gave the families emergency aid and a whopping 700 dollars yeah, so anyways, condolences to all the lives lost. It was very sad, but it was good to see people raise money and, and help out the actual families. And in more sad news, the Cheems meme dog passed away. Rest in paradise to Brody. I Show Speed decided it was time to get a new title from number one Ronaldo d Rider to I Show Me. He was playing Five Nats at Freddy's and that thing just came out. I couldn't tell if he was genuinely mad over this or not, but imagine if 
was small, it would have been way worse. They would have been calling him I Show Shrimp instead. The voice of Mario in all of Nintendo's games officially retired. India becomes the fourth ever country to land a rover on the moon. This month, we also saw the explosion of another controversial figure of kick, Boosie Tube. Boosie was running up numbers this month when doing his IRL streams. We saw everything. From him simulating a car crash on stream, him showering and digging in his ass crack, him assaulting Neon, which I think nobody cared about because Neon. Until we reached the date of August 23rd, where he got arrested live on stream to 70,000 people and put in a mental hospital, which marked the official end to the 2023 Fousey 2 bar. But let's be real, there's definitely more to come soon. This generational Donald Trump mugshot drop. The hype for this mugshot was unreal. People marked their calendars and were ready. Which makes sense because we're the first ever generations to witness a president being arrested. FIFA suspended their Spanish football president after kissing a female player without consent and overall just being a weirdo good riddance the memes of this month were things like skibbity toilet again trump's mugshot i show me and the alabama boat brawl september 2023 the pentagon officially releases the classified ufo videos and i think they thought people would care more but first off most of us already knew and once again they got more important issues to worry about like bring the mcchicken price back to a dollar instagram reels comments started to really take over this month you could have an innocent puppy on a video and people is there in the comments ready to hate like if you ever have kids in the future please by god's name refrain from posting them on ig reels sadly the main singer of smash mouth steve harwell passed away this man is a legend in my book rest in paradise the wwe and ufc officially merged together iphone releases its iphone 15 and 15 pro do, do i even have to cover this it's the same phone let's move on taylor swift makes history by winning nine vmas and look i don't like her either okay Okay, but you gotta admit, Taylor Swift was nearly everywhere this year. Don't underestimate the power of suburban teenage and college age white girls. She also had a relationship with Travis Kelsey, which for some reason was covered more in the news than important like, we have whole ass wars going on. Come on. Scientists in Mexico unveiled mummified aliens, which I'm not sure if it's actually been proven fake or not, but the word on the street is that the whole thing was fake and it was actually just a cake. Vladimir Putin meets with Kim Jong-un for the first time. Hunter Biden, aka Joe Biden's son, is arrested on felony gun charges and is the first US president's son to be indicted on federal criminal charges. I mean, he did have hoes though. Russell Brand faces allegations against him on sexual assault, and for the younger generations, that may not know Russell Brand. You remember that one doctor from Despicable Me? Or the bunny from Hop? I actually love this movie. Yeah, that's the guy. TikTok is fined $368 million for breaking EU's data laws on children's data on personal information. But the real question here is, why is any child on TikTok in the first place? Aiden Ross had a totally real meeting with Kim Jong-un. The fact that people actually thought this was going to be real baffles me. My generation never fails to disappoint. It's reported that 95% of NFTs are worthless and have no value wow i wonder who could have guessed that oh yeah everybody from the f jump the writer's strike officially ends meaning tv shows and movies are back in production we got the rise of two of the worst creators to ever hit the internet from kick neon and jack doherty both going viral this year for pretty much harassing people publicly and being annoying if these two don't fall off by next year i'm gonna lose hope in humanity all of sony's systems get breached in a ransomware attack meta released its brand new smart glasses never seen on the market and chat bots which are just creepy like it's ai celebrities but they all have different names for example mr beast is zach and he's a comedian or something dwayne davis is officially charged with the murder of Tupac. and the memes of this month were things like roman empire kevin james pose mexican alien corpse and kagura bachi october 2023 the youngest flexor of the century lil tay makes a comeback showcasing how terrible her parents were and why she's been gone so long there was also a lot of weirdos and i'm gonna be honest the music video she posted definitely did not help like whichever full-grown adult directed this music video for this 16 year old needs to be arrested gen z slang like simp riz bussin mid etc are added to merriam webster dictionary the u.s sends out an alert to everyone's phone as a test and people were super hyped for this for some reason this year until they realized it was a f 
Tesla fur phone. Drake drops his album for all the dogs. And this month is when the Israel versus Palestine conflict started to amp up. It sucks that stuff like this even happens in the 21st century. Like, people literally just want peace. Prayers out to any innocent lives lost in this whole war. Spider-Man 2, the game releases. Breaking PlayStation Studios record for the most game sales in 24 hours. Jada Pinkett Smith started to go on her tirade this month. Revealing things like her and Will Smith have been separated for seven years. Proving that the slap happened for no reason. We pretty much got unneeded information every day about their marriage this year. Like, I guarantee Jada Pickett Smith is somewhere out there yelling from the rooftop some unnecessary things about Will Smith. KSI loses to Tommy Fury in a boxing match by unanimous decision, and Dylan Dennis loses to Logan Paul by disqualification. But I will say, Dylan Dennis built up legendary hype with the trolling he was doing. I still don't know how, but he was posting a pic of Logan's girl with a brand new man every day up until the fight. I wouldn't be surprised if I had a pic with her. He did lose the fight, but I think he won the mental. Taylor Swift drops her album 1989 and officially becomes a billionaire. Like I said, she was everywhere this year. But always never forget, guys. He made that oh, famous. Mr. Beast gets accused of faking his videos by nobody and everyone forgets. Sniper Wolf makes possibly the dumbest decision any YouTuber has ever made by doxing another YouTuber, Jax Films. I don't know what she thought was gonna happen, but she became the internet's punching bag after this. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie releases, having the best opening weekend for a horror film in 2023, Gideon, one of the biggest prank YouTubers, decided to fully quit YouTube and promote his life to Christ, which had an overwhelmingly positive response from the community, which is surprising because of the type of fans he built up, and it officially marked the end of the Gideon arc. He couldn't have went out in a better way in my eyes. Messi wins his 8th Balloon Dior for the best player in the world, and memes of this month were things like AI Pixar posters, Opium Bird, and sticking out your yacht for the Rizzler. November 2023. We started off this month with some greatness as OG Fortnite officially made its return. The amount of hype that built up for this moment cannot be described for future generations. OG Fortnite bring back the careers of all the people who got big because of Fortnite. Epic Games got too much power on humanity. Sam Bakeman Freed is found guilty of fraud by the court and faces up to 110 years in prison. Mr. Beast pulls another wholesome act by building 100 wells in Africa. And you can bet that people were hating on Twitter. A global company hires its first AI robot as CEO, which is the first AI robot as CEO ever. And there's a reason why no one has a robot as CEO, because it's a f robot. Be late for work one day and that will snap off your neck. The UK announces its plan to ban smoking for good. Shrek 5 is announced and is set for a 2025 release. Omegle, aka every EDP's favorite <laughs> playground, officially shut down after 14 years. I mean, it's kind of sad. Everyone remembers their first Omegle experience of seeing a meaty cock on their screen. And this also put all the YouTubers who do Omegle content out of a job, which is a YouTuber's worst fear, getting a real job. Me included. Rockstar announces in a tweet that a trailer for GTA 6 is officially dropping in December, meaning that humanity actually made it to another GTA. The hype was on. The actor's strike officially ends, meaning we'll be getting even more TV shows and movies. Jared Leto becomes the first person to legally climb the Empire State Building. I don't know why this would be important to add, but miscellaneous Jared Leto activities always happen every year. Snoop Dogg, the godfather of smoking, the image of cannabis himself, officially quit smoking. Snoop had people contemplating if they should change their ways until like a week later. It turned out to be a marketing campaign, and people went right back to their habits. George Santos, a former U.S. representative, is caught spending his campaign funds on OnlyFans, and becomes the sixth ever person to get expelled from Congress. These are the type of dudes paying $1,000 to get a message back from an OnlyFans girl. Sam Altman, aka the creator of ChatGBT, gets fired from his own company. Eric Shaven, the man who killed George Floyd, gets stabbed in prison 22 times. And somehow that man survived. Me personally, I would take that as disrespect and be mad. A live action Naruto is announced and will be produced by Lionsgate. Mark Cuban leaves Shark Tank as a host. Mark was the coolest on the show, so I wouldn't be surprised if everyone stopped watching after this. The Young Thug trial officially starts. And to say this is a show is not saying enough. The lawyers are trying to make sure this man does not get locked up. Saying that thug stands for truly humble under God. One of the lawyers in the middle of the trial starts to use Bleach as a reference. This reminds me of this anime named Bleach where it's 16 seasons. Every episode is about 18, 20, 20 episodes. Sorry, every, yeah. Every I won't be surprised if more and more goofier 
comes out in 2024 about this trial. The memes of this month were things like Dream versus Gumball, Nah, I'd win, Microwave Honey Bun, and Josh Hutcherson Whistle, December 2023. The only thing that really mattered this entire month was the GTA 6 trailer. All the stresses in our lives built up to this moment. All of the pain, anguish, and hardship we faced could be finally relieved in this one minute and 30 second trailer. We had made it in December of 2023. Of course, the trailer broke the record for the most viewed trailer of all time in 24 hours and the most viewed YouTube video in 24 hours that's not a music video. Riz is named Oxford's word of the year. Like, Kai Sinad really dominated this year. This wouldn't have happened without him and Duke Dennis. Hunter Biden is charged again, but this time on federal tax charges. Drake becomes the first artist to surpass 90 billion streams on Spotify. And whether you hate Drake or not, this accomplishment is a landmark run. E3 decides to shut down permanently. It was mainly them not being able to keep up with the gaming industry. And this is huge. For y'all that don't know, E3 introduced the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii, and much more. Rest in peace to E3. Twitch made one of the dumbest decisions any platform has ever made in the history of platforming. Twitch decided to change their policies on nudity and allow childhood friendly things like fictionalize the drawn animated or sculpted fully exposed female presenting breast and genitals erotic dances that involve disrobing or disrobing gestures such as strip teases and content that highlights breasts buttocks or pelvic regions you name it and it was on twitch you had titty streamers booty streamers hentai streamers furry streamers 13 year olds were opening twitch for the first time and seeing tony the tiger fully cocked out until they decided to completely revert it two days later we need this to be forever remembered because why the f would a multi-million dollar company ever think this is a good idea to do? They have boardrooms of business people who have to approve these changes, and they loved it, I guess. The US government gets caught in a scandal as two gay people film a sex tape in the Senate hearing room. We live in a South Park reality nowadays because this was the last thing you'd ever suspect to happen. And actually be caught on footage with AK proof for everybody to see it. And lastly, Jonathan Majors, who plays Kong in Marvel, is found guilty of assault and harassment in court, which then leads to him being dropped by Marvel. And with that being said, the year of 2023 is officially over. I know I may have missed some things, but I did try my best. For people watching this in the future, was this a nostalgic year? I guess we'll have to see. Shout out to all the homies who helped put this together. All their stuff's gonna be in the description. And thank you to everyone who watched me this year. We only gonna keep going up. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. As always, I love you guys consensually. And until next time, I'm out.